Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. I want to take a peek inside this new journal that I made. So I made this journal a little bit ago. And so this is going to be as much of a surprise to me as it is for you. Let's take a peek. Okay, so as always, we have our removable tassel on the side. I'm thinking about mixing things up a little bit, but I'll show you those in future videos. All right, here's our first page. Pretty little band here. This flips up for some writing space. A few journaling spots here tucked in. Pretty paper doily. And here's a pocket here. I see I used some of my fun fibery paper. Made some cute coordinating tags. Oh, look, this looks like this is very thin. Oh, this is the same paper as this stuff, but just in pink. And I made a ruffled ribbon out of it. You see? Inked edges, a little bit of stenciling. This page opens up again for more writing space. A pretty sewn tag. See the stitching around it? Some pretty embellishments that I had fussy cut out of some scrapbook paper. Remember seeing that in one of my last videos? Oh, here's some of that record paper or that record, or you know, like vinyl record, the paper that goes with it, and then a tag behind it, an embellishment here. Oh, just a little cluster down here. That's kind of fun. See how I used up some of my scrap ribbons? Ribbons going down the side and a few cute little flowers. Some vintage music paper and an envelope that was made out of an old Lake Wobegon Days book. You can tuck little treasures in there. And that just goes on to this sewn little band here that I made. Just tucks in there. A little embellishment on this side sentiment. Oh, this is a pocket too. Some pretty paper. Oh, I like this. This is a belly band. It tucks in here. Some pretty lace and on the sides. Another little tuck here for something. Some strings. I, sometimes I like to leave these little strings long because you never know if you have like a broken pendant or something like that from an old necklace or charm, but charms of some sort. You can always tie them on the inside here and they're preserved forever. Some pretty flowers and some more of that pretty paper. Some stitching around this, a little sentiment here. Some more music pages let's see here what do we have oh this opens up a nice little writing spot in a tag here as well Ooh, it's kind of fuzzy little pocket here here we have a heart doily that is being held on by a an altered paper or yeah altered paper clip which is just a little fussy cut cake scrap paper you know i'll probably do a video on all the ways that i alter my paper clips one of these days so rub-ons i don't use very many rub-ons in my work but i thought these were super cute and you know if they rub off i don't think they will they're like on there it looks really good now actually now i'm going to get myself hooked on rub-ons some pretty lace down the sides. Oh, there's a pretty lady. Lots of writing space. Journaling spot, pretty little flower. Okay, and this opens up. Oh, opens up again. More writing space. Tuck something in there. Here, look, we have to add some things. 
See, I told you I still had to go. Th I haven't gone through this book in a long time. Maybe I should have before I started doing this video. But let's just tuck some fun things in here, shall we? There we go. And then it goes behind here as well. I wonder if I have a tag for that. Oh, I'm sure I do. Is this one too big? What? No, it's perfect. I've had this one for a long time because it's been too big until now. Sweet. Okay, so I have some burlap here that I just pulled the sides out. Uh, you know, you can maneuver them out like that. And then another little scrap of, well, I don't know what, oh, this is like a thick, heavy ribbon and a little embellishment here. And some ribbons going down the sides. Isn't that pretty? Envelope. Oh, look at it. This envelope opens. Sweet. Ribbon with some more of those fairy stamps. I'm just about out of those. Paper bag. Little. This is one of those dollar store embellishments that I was showing you, remember, in that last video? Little uh, tuck there. Writing page. Toss some tuck something in there and in there and open this up. This is all for my tea staining. This was probably one of those catch-all pages and I just let all the uh, drippings absorb onto my pages. I cut them up and I use them. Aren't they pretty? Have a little tuck there. Some stenciling and some pretty flowers that I found in a pack at Hobby Lobby. Here, this is, I like this. There's some lace, thick lace ribbon. Some of that fun fibrous paper. A few little cards. Those are fun. Some journaling spots here. All right little image here that you can tuck some things behind it's a little note card some embellishments made with scrap paper of course as you can see let me just get a little close up you can see all the things i have clustered there that's another beautiful page let's see here oh yep this flips over oh that's sewn in in there it that's sewn in there. That is pretty cool. I should do that more often, huh? That that was one of those good days. You know what I mean? Those good creative days. This is really nice too. If I do say so myself, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Is this a pocket? No, but it should be. Mm, a little bit of tool. This opens up as well. Ooh, one more time. Some more writing space. Is this pocket? Yes, yes it is. Some great paper behind there. an altered mail envelope little tag in there this opens up to some pretty paper ribbon embellished with the flower some more paper ribbon this is pretty this little bag you can add some little things to A little frame on here you can put it here a picture on here oh that was a really fun one and then we put it together pretty little pearls hanging down the end I sure do hope you enjoyed looking through my new journal with me if you were inspired in any way please like and subscribe to my channel we do this kind of stuff all the time we'll see you next time Bye.